and he would go out there and try to like tighten up and tie down the seat to make it more stable or, or you know, to, to stay in one place. And I'm like, okay, well, by the time yesterday evening, like 4 p.m., I go out there and they was like, well, it's ready. You know, we just put it up the shop, it's ready. So I go over there to check it. The dog is still moving about. I'm like, what the? What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, age what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? <laughs> well, well, well. So, yeah. so, you encountered some foolery, I guess? What's going on? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yes, basically, okay. I didn't know much about coming up about them before coming. I did a little research online, but all right, who who who, who are we who, who are we talking about? What what company? Triton. 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 Okay, I I think I did a I did a call video on them. You did. Okay, there. And, and on, on on your call video, the guy was saying you could do five thousand miles in a week, and mm. you knew that was fluff. You like. Nowhere, how can you do 5,000 miles in a week? You know, me being a driver, unless, I've been doing this a long time. Unless you they, know, they messing a, with the clock. That's the only way. Right. So all right. They so, definitely, they got that going on too. But all right. So you. That ain't my issue. So, so you went. Well, let, let, let me back up for a minute. Let me, let me back up for a minute. You decided uh -huh. to leave Super Eagle. Right. Okay. Okay. I took them their truck back on Saturday. Okay, so you took them their truck back on Saturday, uh, because of all the issues that was going on with them. But as far I, as the money, as know. far as the money, but everything. So you left them because of the money aspect, but you didn't. But you really liked them, for. I did. I liked them, and I really loved my equipment. I really did. Okay. I did not want to. Okay, but for the money aspect of it, that's that was the only reason why you left Super Eagle. Okay, so you left Super Eagle, and I guess uh, Triton ain't ain't there ain't they in the Illinois too? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, so you went across the went across the freeway and decided to uh, get with them. What what's going on? What's What's, what's, okay. what's, what's going on? So I managed to get, well, I, I messaged them, you know, did my application, did my drug screen. I got up here on uh, Monday, which they had me a flight book, but kind of missed the flight because, you know, so damn early. So I ended up getting get me a rental car. I got up here. But I didn't know, like I said, I didn't know nothing prior about how things was going to go until I actually got here because online, all you see is good reviews and, you know, nothing to make you have a, you know, think nothing different. So I'm like, okay, you know, I get up here. The first day was kind of smooth. They start telling me some information, but the people who was doing my orientation didn't quite know all the information. So I'm asking questions like, you know, as far as where do you go? Where, where's your freight? You know, I, I live in Indiana. I would want to be, get back to Indiana, you know, um, what, what what is the the exact pay that will be for your regional position? What what is the exact pay for like your over the road position? You know they they explaining that, but the woman all good questions um, by the way. They, you know they they he didn't really know all the information, so they had to call another guy in to kind of he was like a dispatcher or what have you to kind of talk with me to answer more of my questions. So I'm like okay, so I chose to do the over the road. And he told me, well, if you do over the road, the equipment you will get, it will be better than the regional because, you know, you, since you ain't, if you ain't going that far, they give you like the older equipment to drive. I'm like, oh, okay. So I said, well, no, nah, I, I need to be in clean, nice equipment. So, you know, I I need the, the good setup. I need a good setup starting out. So, you know, I expressed all that to them. Well, I didn't get my truck till the next day, so which was been yesterday. They didn't actually show it to me. Well, when they showed me this truck, it's a Freightliner, but the freight is old. It, you can tell it, 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 it's just been used too many times. You know, they not really up on top of like the upkeep of the inside of the equipment. Detail. You know what I mean? Like, um, huh? 
they they didn't detail the truck before they gave it to you. It looked like they had somebody clean it, but it it, it wasn't thorough. And it looked like you know they half did it. You know what I'm saying? And they got paint chipping off. The seats are all raggly, like. One, the driver's seat is wobble, wobble, wobble to where if, if I'm going down the highway, I'll be moving all around, which that ain't even comfortable, you know what I'm saying, for a long period of time to get through a load, you know what I mean? I was like, what the crap? So I'm telling them, like, the curtains got all this lint crap. All along. I'm like, can you take the curtains out and they put the new ones? Y'all got curtains in the shop, you know, because I know, like, I remember back when I was with, when I was with Noose Bomb, Noose Bomb, you know, they kept shit like that on hand, and if something wasn't in good condition, they would change it out. You know, they, they change it out to get you set up right. So Okay, okay, hold I'm up, like, hold up. Why even ask for a new curtain? But ask for a whole new truck. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I Once they were saying they couldn't do that and this is still working, no, wait, we don't Wait, do wait, that. wait, wait, wait. What, what, what do you mean they couldn't? They couldn't do that. They they, they couldn't give they, you they couldn't give you a, a better truck than what they than what they set you up with. They said that's the only truck that that was the only truck that was available, and that's the only truck they had to give me. Okay, then I'll wait because I know that's a lie. That I know that's a lie, especially if you're bringing in more than more than one person a week. No, like that. So you you telling yeah, me that's the, you you telling you you, you you telling me that's the only that that's the only truck here, but you bringing in four or five people at a time. So what yeah. you was going to give them? Exactly. So here's the thing: two guys showed up yesterday to do orientation. I don't know what truck they trying to put them guys in, but the thing is, the one that they are trying that they're trying to give me, it got them to five hundred thousand miles on it. It's just old. It just it's too worn. You know what I mean? It looks like you know someone other than me get somebody else to do that because I'm not the driver for that. You know, um, the the condition of the inside to where the inside the cabinet is all messy and stuff. To where I wouldn't even be able to put all my stuff in it to be comfortable like how I like to do. You know what I mean? To be rolling like I wouldn't even be able to load the truck up with my stuff. Like it, it's just it's that bad. So. I'm like, um, I asked them, I'm like, can you just give me something different? They're like, no, that we don't have anything. And right now we just don't have anything. And this is what we have. So the guy said he would go out there and try to like tighten up and tie down the seat to make it more stable or, you know, to, to stay in one place. And I'm like, okay, well, by the time yesterday evening, like 4 p.m., I go out there and they was like, well, it's ready. You know, we just put it up shop. It's ready. So I go over there to check it. The dog is still moving about. I'm like, what the? I said, hey, this is not fixed. Like, it's not, it's not done. Like, it's still moving. So when I show him, he's like, oh. So he he was like, well, let's go back in the office. So he's in there telling him, like, basically, it's from wear and tear, you know, because it's, you know, it's been used. You know what I mean? And it's either they gotta put a whole nother seat, but he's like, well, you could just take it like this for now, and in a couple of weeks we'll get you back in and we'll change it out or something like that. Like, huh? Like, why you can't just give me something else? Like, y'all stressing me out with this truck that ain't even in good condition to begin with. But they felt like since they went to go wash the truck on the outside, it looks clean on the outside, so it's fine. No, it ain't fine. So, the equipment is the deal breaker for me. That's the deal breaker. Um, I asked them to get me back home yesterday. They told me they couldn't get me back home because they are at a loss. I, you know, I haven't took a load. I ain't made them no money. So basically, they paid for me to get up here so they won't get me back home. So I'm like, damn, I really ain't got no money to be, you know, due to all my bills and everything, the situation I'm previously coming from. I really need to just try to, I don't know. It's like I'm kind of stuck. So I was like, man, you know what? I asked him, I said, well, can you just accommodate me, get me a room for tonight so I can get some rest because like this whole situation that overstressed me and it's going into like after 5 p.m. yesterday. So they was like, okay, we'll get you an Uber, we'll get you to the room, get you to the hotel. So as I've been in this hotel room sleeping overnight, woke up this morning, my mindset is telling me, no, I don't like the truck. I don't like the truck. Like no matter, and then the fact that no one like, y'all not taking pride in y'all's equipment. Y'all just 
getting driver out the truck and getting and putting another driver in the motherfucking truck. And y'all just trying to keep on going. Y'all trying to save on re- making repairs and replacements for the equipment. Like y- y'all operation y'all got going on, that don't work for me. Even starting out. And then they got the ladies in the office. Like they kind of, you know, if you got like by me complaining about what, um, you know, about the equipment that, you know, they kind of sassy a little bit, you know, and I want to be respectful. I don't want to be here having words or back and forth with nobody or nothing. But the thing is, it's like, you know, how, how I'm going to come in, y'all get me in here and y'all just trying to put me in some, in some stuff and, and, and get me out, get me out the door. Like what? I don't like it. So, um, God told me to check my credit card this morning. I checked my credit card because I left my debit card in my car before coming, dealing with the airport and all that uh, Monday morning. So I only got my debit card, but God said, check my credit card. I got a little money on there. I have to just Uber myself to the bus station, go my ass back home. I, they can text me, tell my good morning. Uh, let us know when you want the Uber to get back to the office to get rolling. No, nah, I don't want to get rolling in that. And it's like, they not hearing me. They, they not even hearing me. And I'm like, I knowing, you know, by it starting off like, oh, not to mention Monday when they gave me my, gave me my, um, uh, my little voucher thing to go get some food at this place called Fat Ricky's, which the food at the Fat Ricky's is good. But why when I was done eating, trying to pull off in like their little company car to get you to the hotel, the motherfucker wouldn't even start. It was completely dead. So the, I called the after hours. This man gonna tell me to go get out the car and go start asking somebody to give me a jump. Who? Who? Who's about to do that? If you don't come get this vehicle or come do something, so, like yeah, they. Uh, so yo, so man, this, <laughs> this that's a lot to unpack, man. Um, let's back up a little bit. Um, you was already you 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 was already turned off because of the because of the equipment you you made it a point that the equipment was a deal breaker you know that you wasn't going to drive uh you felt uncomfortable in it and when you brought that to their attention you know they still tried to say this is all that we got and still try to get you in there to to drive the truck but Mm-hmm. But uh, you said, no, nah, this ain't going to work for me. I, I just feel that this ain't going to work for me. Um, and you asked them to get you back home. And I, I mm-hmm. said I said this in a, in a, in a podcast uh, all the time years ago. And this is the main reason why I, I tell people that you need to come prepared. Not, not to say that you wasn't prepared but you need to come prepared to when you come to these companies and then you know when you find out if that company is not right for you it's time for you you know to make other arrangements and leave but unfortunately they are not going to get you back home because it's not their responsibility to get you back home and, mm-hmm. and you just made it a point in your in your testimony that yeah we got you up here we thought we was going to make some money with you and all like that but it's not going to work so yeah you you find your own way home we we don't we we're not going to do that so that's why it's always good to come prepared with you know not only a credit card uh not only a credit card but you know some extra money so that you won't be so you won't be stranded because these companies like you know like like triton you know come to find out that's how they are um they they they, they're not gonna they're not interested in in getting you back home or making sure you're getting back home safe or whatever whatever they'll make sure that you'll get a good night's sleep because they think well hey let, let her let her get some sleep let her sleep on it and maybe she'll change her mind which obviously they sent a text message back to you saying hey you know, come back on over to the office so we can get you rolling. And you, you standing fast, like, no. So, so yeah, for the people out there that's that's going with these companies and 
deciding that it's not going to work for you make make sure you 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 come prepared man you know um but you know what i would have been in a better predicament if i wasn't just coming from super ego where they didn't completely made me go into like so much get behind and so much bills and really into debt you know what i mean i think i'll be in a better predicament but it's like you know, I've been over there working, like the money, you know, wasn't going the way it's supposed to. So I'm really in a lot of situation right now, far financially, really, you know, and this, this, you know, me coming over here looking at all their billboards and posts and thinking that, okay, you know, they got some good equipment. They're going to, you know, they're going to take good care of me and all this stuff. Shoot. They, they, even on their, um, on their uh tablet so, so let me it'll show you okay let me ask you this are are you are you are are you just interested in leasing or are you open to company driving i'm interested in how i can just make some money i am believing now i can't make money right now doing leasing so i don't want to just dive into that again um so my direction would be to be a company driver okay so did I mean, you did did i send you the uh the, the companies did i did i send you a company uh, uh that was up in ohio did i send you that I remember you telling me about uh, Murf Rooster. What was it called? Murfreesboro? Well, well, no, I, what was that called? I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, because I just talked to a gentleman yesterday. Uh, he's He got three trucks. Uh, he's paying he's paying eight, anywhere between eighteen and $2,000 a week. It's a dedicated lane. Um, I, I spoke with him yesterday. He's looking for two drivers. So what I would do as soon as we get off this, get off the phone, I'll eat, I'll text you his information. All right. And he can, you know, go into detail about what he's looking for and, and, um, oops, sorry about that. What he's looking for and, and what, you know, you can do for him. I will also text you the company, Wooster Motorways out of Wooster, Ohio. That's what it was. Yeah, I, I will Wooster. test you. I will test you. I will test you that information. I'll give you Dave's number, and you can give him a call and let him know that I I sent you over there. And I got another company out of Ohio as well. Um, they they do hire. Uh, they do hire. They can get you home every week because you're in Indiana. So they're regional, you know, they're regional company. Majority of their loads, uh, their lanes runs through Indiana down 80. So you're able to get home every week. So that won't be a problem. And you'll be able to uh, make some money there as well. You have options with the second or with the latter company that I mentioned. Uh, they have a they got like three salary packages that starts at eighteen hundred dollars a week or you could choose a cent per mile which starts at 62 61 to 62 cents per mile so i will send all that to you uh make sure that uh you know try to make sure that you get you know try to get up try to get up on your feet so that you won't go bankruptcy looking for all these, you know, lease program companies. You know what I'm saying? I I didn't expect Triton to be uh to treat you that way. I mean, especially after the after the phone call I had with him. But you know, you, you when you talk to the recruiter, you're gonna get information one way, and then when you actually go to the company and see what they is about then that's where you'll actually be, you know, that you'll you'll put in your mind like, okay, this is work, this is a go, this is not a go, or whatever the case, you know. Because yeah, the recruiter's like job that. the recruiter's job is just to is this to get you in the seat, basically. 
yeah, it looks like they like drivers that don't really talk to them or ask questions. They don't know what's going on. Like this one guy who I saw come in yesterday, he looked Hispanic or something. He barely can talk English. You know, he barely can really, you know, he he couldn't even, he didn't even know how to order, the, order his food. I'm kind of like, huh? You know, they, they, they want people who are, who are, who don't know what's going on, who don't know what to do, who, you know, them, 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 that's like a better shit for, I, for I them. think all, I, I think all lease, lease companies is looking for drivers like that because like I was talking to, I was talking to one company and they, you know, they got in their feelings because I was asking them, you know, asking them the questions I felt that was relevant. And they was like, well, we're, you know, I'm looking for drivers that want to make money and yada, 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 yada. Well, I'm, I'm looking for a company to make money with. But if you can't answer any of my simple questions that I have about the company, then no, it, it's not going to, it's not going to be a good fit. You know, be wary of companies that like to over talk you, uh, be rude with you, try to talk you into something that 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 might not be in your best interest. You know, be wary of those those type of companies. That's why I say you when you do your research, you do your research, you formulate questions from the research that you that you do and then you bring it to their attention. But these those type of companies are like you know we're, we're just looking for dumb and desperate drivers you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's 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 what we're looking for we're, we're looking for we're looking for dumb and deaf dumb and desperate drivers to put in the seat so that they can make us money and we and we could fuck over theirs so you you need to be careful. You need to be careful. You need to ask questions. You need to be wary. You need to do your research. You need to read the reviews, and uh, and yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, you know the companies that I'm about to send to you in a little bit. Hopefully, you know one of them would uh would work out uh work out for you at least at least keep you on your feet until you know until you get you know get to a point where you can make another power move yeah i'm um uh, i'm actually about to uber out of here right now go to the bus station. all right it's, it's real all right well even... keep it well keep in touch with me as always uh let me go ahead and uh let me go ahead and shoot you over this uh over the information so you can at least get give them a call before you leave up out of there Big cheese got it locked. What you want?